everyone. It's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Um, I'm really excited to be with you today to share another video in my Now or Wow series. But this one's kind of fun because not only is it a Now or Wow, it's also a flashcard. And I love to do flashcards. So today I want to share with you, this was the... Um, my um, inspiration, I received this card from Stampin' Up! for being in the top 100. It was really a great card. I absolutely loved what they did. But you know me, I said, oh, I gotta turn that into a flash card. And it kind of actually turned into a now or wow. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our card today. All right, because this is a flash card, let's talk about our flash card pieces. My card base is Coastal Cabana. Cut it eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter, so it's going to fit into one of our medium size envelopes. My flashcard pieces are in Calypso Coral and Whisper White. If you've not seen the video on flashcards, not a problem, just go to YouTube and do a quick search. Connie Stewart flashcards, you're going to see that video pop up and I'll share with you how you uh, cut these pieces. So whenever you need a card in a flash, you grab them, you stamp them and you're done. So let's go ahead and begin with these pieces in particular. We need to trim them down and uh, what we're going to do, we're going to trim our white piece down to three and a quarter and then we're going to trim the Calypso Coral down to three and three quarters. Three and a quarter, three and three quarters. That's what we need. Let's go ahead and save these pieces because we're going to be using those. I'm going to move all this out of the way. And let's go ahead and work with these two pieces. I have got my Project Life Corner Rounder. And I'm going to uh, kind of corner round two of the short ends. Not all four sides, just two of the short ends like so, so that those can layer together really nicely. Now we're going to do some stamping. So we'll start with this Whisper White. I'm going to bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink Pad. I have the Celebrate. This is from Fabulous Four. We're just going to stamp that right there at the top in the center, just like so. All right. Now we can go ahead and we can um, do uh, the uh, really fantastic little... Um, the banners that we're going to do here. So coming in with the banner punch, let me share with you. I'm going to move that for just a second. Uh, the first one I'm going to punch is um, out of that little scrap that we had left over. So we're going to punch, actually we're going to punch two banners out of this little piece. Yes, there is enough. So make sure you get it there on the ends. We've got those two pieces. Out of this base, let's just get ourselves one right smack out of the middle is just fine. We're going to be covering that up. And um, now let's go ahead and stamp. Actually, we're going to go ahead and stamp our card real quick, and then we're going to work on those pieces. Um, I am going to be using a photopolymer set, so I want to bring in my Stampin' Mat. I have a Coastal Cabana ink pad and dotty angles. This is just one of my favorite stamp sets right now. It is just so fun. Of course, I love anything polka dots. We're going to stamp this here. Actually, guys, if you'll let me turn that around, I can see so much better. And we're just going to stamp this right here at the edge of our cardstock. Give that a really nice press. And then what I want to do, I want just a few kind of coming off the edge. So I'm just going to ink up these ends here just to get a few. This is just going to kind of stretch my dots. Not too much. I don't want to go crazy with them. That's exactly what I'm going for. We'll kind of do the same thing up here at the top. Just kind of gives us just a little more stretch. Now, since we have that out, I'm going to move my card off to the side. I'm going to take just one of my little banners and we're just going to stamp it with some dots like so. All right, setting that little guy off to the side. Now, in the dotty angle stamp set, you also get this really great little triangle one. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to ink up just a little bit of it because I only need a touch. I found a point of my of a triangle. All right, I'm getting a bad glare on the camera um, from the light, so hopefully I can see that. Okay, perfect. That's going to let me show you. So I have a triangle piece right there, and I wanted it to go right into the punch. Does that make sense? Oh, maybe I'm being a little uh, anal retentive about that, but I sure liked how it looks. So I've got that. That was stamped in Hello Honey. And um, one last little banner punch, and this was just out of a scrap of the uh, gold glimmer paper because, you know, everything needs glimmer. So I've got my four little banners. Let's go ahead and attach those to our card.
All right, I just adhered those down with some snail. Now at this point, let me um, bring in, it is somewhere, where did it go? Oh, here we go. I have got a piece, just a simple little uh, bow that I made out of the Tangerine Tango uh, uh, Baker's Twine, really fabulous stuff. I'm gonna take a mini glue dot and I'm actually gonna kind of roll that into a little tiny ball uh, because I just need a little tiny, tiny bit of adhesive. I'm gonna put it right there on my polka dotted um, banner and add that bow, give it a press. All right, looking really cute. Now at this point, I could just adhere that onto my card and I have a now. What do you think? Very simple. But let me show you how we can step this card up just a notch. Since we had that flashcard piece anyway, how about we adhere these together? So I'll just come in with some snail and we'll just adhere this down onto uh, that little flashcard piece. Very simple. Now I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals on this one, one in each corner. Guys, Stampin' Dimensionals I think are just one of the bargains in our catalog. They run about a penny a piece and I'll tell you what, for four cents that adds some serious wowness. I'm all about serious wowness. Okay, we've got that. We can just adhere this now to the side of our card. Make sure I've got that straight. Looks good. But I thought, mm, we have this left over. What can we do? Well, I'm going to come with, with Stampin' Up's brand new quarter inch uh, hole punch. I'm going to punch out, oh, I don't know, just as many as I can get, I guess. And you notice they all kind of stay nice and neat in there, which is awfully sweet. All right. To adhere these onto my card, I actually found Tombow to be one of the easiest things to do. Now, um, this is a great time to see if you just have a hole somewhere, you add a tiny little dot, and we can add one of our little polka dots. We're just going to randomly add these throughout the card. It just gives such a pop of color. Now, this may be bothering you. It's bothering the heck out of me. It looks like I hit the, um, the edge with the black, but hey, you know, that's just a creative opportunity for me. We're going to add a dot there. Looks like I got one little goober right there too. So hey, we're gonna dot that as well. You love anytime you can cover up mistakes. Now I can just kind of fill in. And of course, if I need more dots, whoops, come here guy. If I need more dots, oh, I have got plenty, plenty, plenty to work with here. So I'll just add one more and we'll call it good for right now. I might add some more here later, but let me go ahead and bring in my now or my wow. There we go, and a flashcard on top of that. I'm quite happy with it. So a huge thank you to Stampin' Up for giving me the original idea. I sure like that card. And I really, um, I actually really, really like the fact that we were able to take a flashcard and turn it into a wow card. So um, everyone, thank you so much for checking out the video today. I know how much you guys have been enjoying the Now and Wow series, and I'm loving the comments that you're leaving. Thank you so much for that. Now remember, you can get all of the supplies I used on my card today at one place, and that is simplysimplestamping.com. I appreciate your order so very much. There's an online order button right there in the upper right-hand corner. Click on it. You can have the products that you need delivered right to your door. You can be creating this card in no time yourself. So thanks again so much for being here. I hope you guys have a terrific day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.